Today, justice for a family decades after a brutal murder in Minneapolis. A judge sends Jerry Westrom to life in prison for the stabbing death of Jeannie Childs. You took that, to, took that away from her 29 years ago. And now the law demands that uh, you face our state's most serious consequence. Westrom sat expressionless as he learned his fate. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily was in the court as the victim's family shared how th this loss has impacted their lives. A jury convicted Jerry Westrom of the 1993 murder of Jeannie Childs, a cold case murder solved through DNA and evidence left at the scene. All these years later, her family had the chance to share their grief and pain ahead of sentencing. I've waited so many years to have this end, and it's put my life through so much hell. And I just really feel I'll never forget, forget and love her the way I always did. Jeannie's niece also spoke about the unimaginable loss. The effect something like this creates can be vicious. They affect you for an entire lifetime to lose someone you'd love is a profound experience. Through a letter, Jeannie's sister expressed her sadness for the Westrom family, saying in this case, no one wins. Westrom chose not to address the court. The defense used its time to point out evidence not allowed at trial and held firm in its position. As we said in the beginning, and we're saying now, you've got the wrong guy. We are sorry for the loss of Jeannie Child's life. We're looking forward to Jerry Weston's exoneration from the Minnesota Supreme Court. Jeannie's mom, Betty, told me she won't let what the defense said in court change how she's feeling today. He is going to try fighting as long as he can, but as far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. In Minneapolis, Jennifer Mayerly, WCCO 4 News. Westrom must serve at least 30 years before being eligible for parole. That is according to the statute in place in 1993. The defense says it plans to file an appeal.